Matt, congratulations on the first win of the season. How pleased were you with today's showing from the group? Yeah, I, I'm glad you've asked about the group because I think that was a, a full team performance um, from every person who entered the pitch, um, from all my subs, all the staff, that was a proper team performance. Um, all the supporters exactly ex uh, the same as well. I thought we were united, we were together, um, and that's the only way we can be throughout all the season. So <clears throat> it was particularly pleasing because for me, we should have at least got a point against Morecambe. It should have won the game, really. Um, then we, we played really well in parts against um, in midweek, and then but we got nothing for it. So it was massively important today that we came away with with points and the three points is obviously especially you know uh, special for that. So. I thought we fully deserved it and I was more than comfortable with the way that we played. Barring the first 10 minutes, I thought um, we reshuffled our shape slightly. Um, we'd started the game slightly differently than, than we had been. Uh, they then started the game differently too, which then forced me to change it slightly, which we did. Um, and then I thought from then on, once we got to grips with that, once we got the information on properly, I was very, very uh, extremely pleased with everything that they gave, I thought, to a man. Um, and I'll go through them, as I'm sure you'll ask in a minute, but to a man I thought they were fantastic and that's every one of us. Two strikers on the score sheet. You've said during pre-season that you wanted strikers who can upset games in different ways and all four of them were on the pitch today. It felt as though they did that as well. Yeah, um, I thought first the two that started, Danny just does what Danny does. Um, I just spoke to somebody then who said it was a bit like time stood still when he received it off Fred and, and it, it is because he creates him, he gives time for himself by his first touch and then he's, he kind of waits and waits and, and he's just got this incredible ability of finding corners in the in the goal, he's ice cold. Uh, I thought Freddie was um, everything I expect Freddie to be, a real handful, um, really difficult to, for uh, defenders to play against. Um, the key for us now is getting Freddie up to speed in terms of the ability to play um, 70, 80, 90 minute games because um, he said himself there that you know he was he was flagging when we took him off and then the two that come on and I felt it was the right time to do that because I just felt like they had started the second half quite brightly um, and I just wanted to get a little bit of energy at the top end of the pitch so um, and I thought both of them did exactly that I thought Jammer was Jammer, a handful, um, a, a person who people probably don't see some of the incredible things that he does do, especially like at the end there where he nips it off the centre half and he drives us up the pitch and he just gives everything every single time he plays. And then Rem, again, he pops up with a goal, but he also puts in an incredible amount of work and, and effort. So um, I was happy, you know, extremely happy with them four. Um, and I'll probably do your job for you. You won't have to ask me the question, but I thought our midfield was tremendous today. I thought Isaac Hutchinson was in the second half especially. Um, he was fantastic, he was brilliant with the work that he did in driving us up the pitch with the ball. I thought the stuff that I, uh, Oshin did without the ball was just as important and just as special. And then I thought Ryan, the way he controlled me field at times, um, and again, somebody who brings calmness to the game, I thought was great. So we had to show a different side to us today. Um, I haven't even gone into my back lads, but we had to show a, a different side to us today and I knew we would have to do that. I knew the game would be massively at times about second balls, um, dealing with the aerial contacts, um, and we did that. I was actually going to bypass the midfield, so it's a good job you covered them there. But one man who was in there, Harry Williams, I thought it was a big test for him today. He certainly stood up to it. Harry is, what's the best way of talking, saying about Harry? He's a salt of the earth person who will do absolutely everything he can to get the very most out of himself. Um, I love him as a person, I love him as a, a defender because I think you see he just wants to head the ball, um, which in this division is uh, an extremely special talent to have. Um, so Harry was great, I thought Foxy uh, for his first professional start um, in the league was top, top draw for him, I thought he was great. Um, you can see that as he gets more minutes into his legs and he, you know, he grows into the position, what a uh, a talent that he can be for us, a real steady, calming influence too. Um, and then Donovan was Donovan, uh, and we probably shouldn't underestimate that because he was great. Um, he's a captain, he's a leader, he's everything that um, the supporters want to get behind. Donovan was brilliant. And then Huss and Gords. Gords, not his day in terms of uh, the way he, you know, he can take a game by the bull of its horns in an attacking sense. But I thought some of his defensive play was fantastic. Um, uh, and 
and uh, Huss behind him was, yeah, he was Huss, he was experienced, he was uh, showed that little bit of know-how, he was driving my back line up um, and he's got that lovely left foot that we all come to see and love. So, um, yeah, and then Owen as well, again, I mean, there's that, that in the first half, that one that lands in his lap, sometimes you need that little bit of luck. Um, but he deserves that little bit of luck because of, of um, just what he is and what he's about and how he goes about the game and um, what a fantastic keeper he is. So I've covered everyone there, um, not least the subs as well, but it's, a, it's, a, it's important that I do because of um, that was a real together team performance today um, from us, from the supporters, from our coaches, from everybody connected with the football club. That was a big game for us um, against a team that will undoubtedly be up there at the end of the season and uh, we stood up to it. You mentioned the supporters there, crowd of over 6,000 today, over 5,000 home fans in there. Hopefully there's more of that to come in a league and they'll be bored by that sort of performance as well. Yeah, uh, I think um, I think I want to coin something here because when when uh, when Luton get promoted, they, there's something called we you, you've been kennied when you come down to Kenilworth Road. Well, uh, can I say we've been pounded today? That's what we want to do. So let's make that this. When they come to our place, you're gonna. Uh, I want us to to coin that you come here and, and we work everything together. The uh, the crowd are together and we go home and we 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 enjoy moments like this and and we make the Poundland best got a proper place for people to want to come and uh, and a tough place for people to want to come. On to Tuesday night now. Wrexham picked up their first point of you know the new campaign. They'll be buoyed by that, but this is a real good performance for us to build on going into that game. They keep coming, don't they? Um, there's, listen, the, there's only maybe half an hour's worth of enjoyment from today before then you completely go on to, to the next game. So, um, But we do that with, as I say, real togetherness about us and we'll need all of that again come Tuesday. Um, it, it's not lost on me at all about the support that we're going to be taking there. Um, again, another incredible turnout um, and I've got a group that are desperate to um, give them something to go home with. So um, we dust ourselves down, we, um, we rest, we reflect and we look to go again.